one or something more sinister. Today we meet someone with some very definite opinions. Have you ever dabbled in the occult with Ouija boards, say, for example? Well, it's something that I'd advise you not to do, as indeed with many other experts in the field. However, some people think they're just harmless fun. Well, that's what David Ward and a group of friends thought when they started to play with one on one particular night. But believe me, they soon changed their minds. The first time I did a Ouija board was about four or five weeks ago. And um, was a group of about five or six friends together, sitting around in a group, putting all the uh, wrongs in the world to right, and someone just suggested doing a Ouija board. Uh, so we got, cut some letters out, put them on the table, we got a glass, and uh, off we went. David was sceptical at first, convinced that the Ouija board wouldn't work, but he soon changed his mind. When we first started doing the Ouija board, it was um, the glass was moving around and letters were being picked out. I thought, well, somebody in the room was doing this for a laugh. And uh, then as the messages got slightly more serious, and throughout the course of the evening, we all took it in turns not to touch the glass. So it sort of eliminated the process of any one person was doing it. And uh, it was quite, as the evening went on, it got quite spooky. What started out as just a bit of fun soon became something else entirely, and David and his friends were soon receiving all sorts of messages through the board. One of the first people who came through was a, a man from Spain called Ray, um, and a friend of mine is actually a comedian, and he'd worked out there the previous year, and this Ray had seen him working, and only referred to him as Funny Man, and he uh, came through with a message saying that John was going to buy a house, and not to buy it, because it would be financial ruin, so he, he didn't didn't buy the house basically, he thought, well, I'm not going to do that, and, uh, and didn't buy the house. Clive was actually um, a policeman from the bath area, and uh, he said he'd actually been beaten to death because he had been having an affair with a woman, and the husband found out, and basically he, he, he wound up dead. But he came back to say that his daughter worked in an antique shop and was in charge of the accounts, and uh, they were going to be robbed, and he came back to try and stop that. But uh, that was something we couldn't actually substantiate. We couldn't find an antique shop in, in Bath with the girl called Esther, I think the daughter's name was. We just couldn't find anything to, to substantiate it. The messages then took quite a nasty turn. Um, some of the other stuff that came through was quite sexually orientated and uh, there was quite a little bit of a bad language that came through, especially from the, the ones that were supposed to be on the younger side. Experts believe that when we dabble with Ouija boards, we really are opening up a door to the dead, to another dimension, and we attract the lowest form of spirits, spirits that just want to cause complete havoc. And although the messages may start out friendly and even amusing, before too long they'll be talking of death and destruction, not something that you really want to be dabbling with.